Okay, um, this video is going to be for, um, it's a special request for, or from, Call Me Calvin, who is a, uh, he goes by that name, he's uh, on Daily Booth, and uh, he's my cubing buddy on there. Anyways, um, he was asking me, one, how do I memorize the algorithms, or all the algorithms on a, uh, to solve a 4x4, and he was, I think he was also wondering, um, what algorithms to use to um, solve the parity issues on a 4x4. And let me give you an example. There's two kinds of parity issues that can happen. Um, one, the, the, the biggest one, and this is the biggest pain in the butt, is when you have the entire cube solved except for these two pieces right here. And this only happens on an even numbered cube like a 4x4, 6x6, on a computer, and an 8x8. Uh, because of the fact that there's no centers, there's no physical center to the cube, like an odd number cube would have, like a 5x5, five 7x7, by five, seven by seven, even a 3x3 three three has a physical center. And because of that physical center, you actually have a center edge piece, and that center edge piece keeps these two uh, edge pieces from being switched. But um, on a even numbered cube, uh, these can be switched very easily. Sorry, it's getting a little blurry here. There we go. Um, so, how to solve that? Well, unfortunately, I'm redoing this video because I, I, I like really screwed up bad um, in trying to explain the algorithm while I'm solving a cube. I can't do that. So, I'm just going to do the move slowly, and I'm going to put... Um, in, in post-processing the vid, I'm going to put the algorithm on the screen. So, just bear with me, okay? Here we go. And back. Up. Peace. Okay. Then sorry. Then There we go. That is now solved. What essentially that algorithm did is it just switched these two pieces and put them back in their proper spots without disturbing anything else. <sighs> well, I hope I got the algorithm right, and I'm going to show you something else too. Um, but first, before I show you the other parody, um, I will show you Basically, uh, you can catch that that parody I just showed you uh, while you're in the uh, solve. You know, if you're solving a regular, if you're solving it the regular way, um, like you know, solving it like a three by three after you get this after you get the centers and the edge pieces solved, uh, you can usually catch that parody when you're trying to solve the top cross. Uh, and the reason why is because, well, if you have that parity happen, you won't be able to get the, you won't be able to put the top cross on. It, there is no way. So once you see that, you can identify it and deal with it right then and there. Um, the other parity issue happens uh, when the two corner pieces um, get com get screwed up in some way, and you try to solve the corner pieces, and when you do that. Um, then you have these two edges here switched around. Like, you'll have this over here and this over here. I'll show you really quick. Okay. So, actually, yeah, it's... When you run across this situation right here, where you have... Um, these back two pieces switched with these two front pieces. This is another thing that can't happen on an even numbered cube. 
or I'm sorry, odd numbered. Uh. So what to do about that? Well, I just showed you the algorithm right there, so I'll just uh, do it again. All right. And this also applies if, um, say, these two sides are correct, but then you have these two sides, these two edges are switched around. Then you can still apply this, and um, after that, it will still you'll still have to solve it like the regular three by three, but it'll be a lot easier. So let's go ahead and do this again. And it's, this is actually a lot easier to remember. There we go. Okay, I think I made this long enough, so I will uh, catch you later. If you have any questions, just uh, feel free to message me anywhere you know me. Take care. Bye-bye.